Now I see I'm live. Just bring up the chat so I can hear, not hear, see what you guys are going to be saying. All right. Hi, everyone. Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. It is Fun Fold Friday, and I have a fun card for you today. And we're going to be using some new paper that is in the upcoming Celebration catalog. So Celebration is August 3rd to September 30th. This year Stampin' Up! is doing two Celebrations. I'm just gonna adjust my camera a little bit. Hey Marty. Oh, thanks for sharing. So Celebration, the next one is August 30th, no, August 3rd to September 30th. And the paper we're going to be using is the penguin paper and it coordinates with a new bundle that is in the new mini catalog and the bundle features a punch called the penguin builder punch as well as the penguin place stamp set so it's a very fun set and it's got some really cool little greetings on it so we're going to use this today and we're actually going to use the paper from celebration that coordinates with it so thank you for joining me for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marianne Cowan. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Ottawa, Canada. I come live Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Fridays is always Fun Fold Friday. And I just share Stampin' Up! products, some whatever new is coming up, and some card designs that you may be able to want to try in um, your craft room. So it's a beautiful day here in Ottawa, nice and sunny. My flowers are happy and all is good. Reminder, the designer series paper sale is only on until August 2nd, 15% off these nine different packs of designer series paper. So you can check out my website, mariannecowan.com for more information or to order if you're in Canada. All right, so the card we're making today, I've seen it a lot actually on some of the people that I follow, it's called a pinwheel card. So I'm just gonna go through what the products are. I have one kind of started, and then we'll see how much time we get. We'll probably only make one today. So, first thing you need is a piece of designer series paper, four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it's scored at one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inches. So one, two, three, and four. So then you just have this little quarter inch piece left. So that's the designer series paper. Then you have cardstock. I changed mine up a little bit, so there's one thing missing here. So cardstock that is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, and you need four pieces. So you should have four pieces. And then I added another layer, just as a little background layer, of cardstock that is um, two and a half by four. So you can do it just plain white and do some stamping. Um, I'm going to use the pattern paper because I thought it would be cute with these little characters. Then you don't need, but I'll show you when we're going through, um, other little pieces that are one and a half by four in case you want to have somewhere to write your sentiments. It's not necessary, but it's cute. And then what I've done and other friends will need to do is cut out the little characters uh, from the designer series paper. I love paper that you can just cut out the images and use them for your cards. So I've got, I think a couple of different sheets here. I got a little fox, a little snowman, this adorable little polar bear, and a little penguin. There's also another penguin in one of the other pieces that coordinates with the punch. So this little guy you can cut out with the punch. All right, and then what I've done is I've just taken one of the sentiments, be cool, be chill, be merry. I thought that was cute. And I just had it on a little scrap of paper that I had, and I cut it down to fit inside here, which was two and a half. And I'm pretty sure this is half an inch. Um, and like I said, I saved some of these little strips when I'm cutting my paper down so I have them for sentiments. The coordinating colors, are soft succulent um, and so saffron no not so saffron um, soft seafoam 
I like this paper because it pulls in different colors. Like this is the fresh freesia. So it pulls in different colors that you can use. All right, let's get started. Like I said, we might only be making one card today, but we'll see how long it takes. We want to start with our piece of four and a half by four and a half. And you'll need a bone folder. And if you don't have one, look to the left. So you want to decide which part of your paper you want to have inside your card, inside your pinwheel. So you'll be able to see this part. So for this one, I chose the little trees. And I'm just going to show you how to do it on this other piece. I did go ahead and do this earlier. So for this one, I'm, let's say I want to have the little dots showing on the inside. You probably would because the other side is a little bit busy. So if you want that part show, showing in, that's what you're going to fold your little quarter, eighth inch, no quarter inch in, and then just fold at all your fold lines. So I'm going to take my bone folder. You do want this pretty folded pretty well. And this is the tower part of the card. All right. Next, we're going to take our white glue. And let's hope you know me and white glue. It never seems... Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to put it right along the seam. Then I'm going to fold in the little quarter inch piece. and the, So one and a quarter inch. And then this one should fold over and match up perfectly. So there you have your little tower. We're actually not using this one. We're going to use the one with the trees. I like using white glue. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you find it's not exactly as you want it. All right, so we have our tower. I'm switching to my trees. Next, what you want to do is take your little pieces of designer series paper and glue them onto the front of each of your panels. Now, this is an optional piece. You can just have, like I said, your plain um, white cardstock. But I want to use this because I'm going to put my little characters on it, and I thought they would be cute with the little trees as the background. So just go ahead and glue each of your pieces onto your white. So you should have four pieces. Just getting these other little guys out of the way. So once you've done that, this card is actually very easy to put together. We're going to take our little um, tower and we're going to just fold it and we're only going to use one of the one inch sections and we're going to put glue on. Has anyone seen anyone making these tower cards or seen them online? They seem to be all over the place right now. Hello, Minik and Barb. Hi, Phyllis. So now I have my glue and I'm going to take it and put it on one of the, the one inch panel that I put the glue on. Now, one little trick I did find is to make sure, like stand it up and make sure you don't have it hanging over the bottom because then it won't stand nicely. So there I have it on just push it down. Yeah, exactly like that. And this card is a really nice card, especially for a Christmas card when people want to display them. So now you go to your next panel behind and put glue. And again, put it on. So you're covering up all that outside designer series paper. Just give it a second. Again, make sure that it's good on the bottom so it's going to be able to stand up. Then I'm going to do the next one. Actually, in hindsight, I might have wanted to decorate these first, but that's okay. So if you're making this, if I was making it again, I'd probably put my little characters on the panels first. So there we have the third one. And this card will fit in a regular envelope. But it looks so cool. And then we're going to do the last one. Same thing. Put it on. 
then you just with the white glue I just like hold it for a couple of seconds and you'll see one way that it closes nice and flat so when you, like if I close it this way, it's not quite as flat, but if I close it this way, it's nice and flat. So play around with yours and see which way it folds nice and flat. I'm not sure why one way is better than the other, but whichever way you want to do, that would be where you would put your uh, main greeting. So I'm going to decide which little character I want on the front of my card, and I'm um, trim this down to make sure it's the right size for your paper just with a pair of scissors I'm gonna put this flat because these all fold onto each other now these extra little pieces of white were if you were using a different color cardstock um, like here I was going to use fresh freesia then you can put a little panel of white here to write more messages but really, how many messages do you really need to write? So then I'm just gonna decide which characters I want on each of my panels. And you can see how it just folds all the way around. It's just such a fun card. All right, so I think on the front, I'm gonna put this little guy. I'm gonna use dimensionals um, on the front one because it's gonna be front of my card. And I might not put dimensionals on all the other panels because I want it to be able to fold flat. And like I said, all these little characters were cut out of the paper. And you can see how cute it is with the little trees in the background. It's like they're out on a little winter scene. So there's the front. I'll go back and add some embellishments in a minute. And so for the rest of them, you could put a little greeting on every one. I decided not to do that. I do have a little tree though, another little tree that I'll put maybe on this one. So these ones I'm gonna do flat. I might try popping one up. Or the tree would be cute popped up. So there we have the little tree and the snowman. And then this is the back. So I can pop this one up because this is the back so it's not really folded. So now we have our, our front and then we just have our little something on the next one. That one doesn't fold quite flat. It's really when you fold the front and the back that it's nice and flat, actually, now that I'm noticing. So this one's on the back so I can pop it up. So let's use this adorable bear. You just have to think about that when you're putting your card together. Um, you don't want your middle layers to be really bulky. I don't know why I'm using the little dimensionals, but I am. And then we're going to go back and add some Wink of Stella and some gems. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. He's so cute. You do have to make sure that he doesn't go any further than the sides because then when you fold it, it'll get caught. So he's the perfect size, so you should be good. And next we have the little fox and this is kind of the inside, so I'm going to do him flat. You really only need it flat for when you're mailing it. So you don't, I wouldn't press this down and squish it and make it flat. It is flat the way that we're going to um, be mailing it, so it's fine. This little bird was in one of the papers as well. So we got him. All right. Now we're going to add some Wink of Stella and some in color gems. These were on back order for quite a while, but they're available now. It is a cute design. And now that I'm looking at it with this paper, I feel like I want to add something here, but I won't right now. So first we're going to add Wink of Stella to his hat or her hat and scarf. 
and maybe everybody's hat and scarf. I love the polar bear. There is also a set in the new catalog that has polar bears in it. All right, it's good for the Winker Stella. And you can see how you had to decide where, which side you wanted on the inside because you can actually see it in your card. I mean, you don't like see it that much, but you just still do see it. And you will notice that there's one way that lays nice and flat and the other way, not so much. But you really only need one way. So I'm going to take some gems. So this is soft sea foam. And this is soft succulent. Close enough. Adorable. Um, this one we could use maybe the darker green, which would be evening evergreen. I'm just going to put my glue away. Yes, Phyllis, it is easier than I thought as well. Okay, let's use some of the green. And I actually added it, made it a little trickier by adding, well, not trickier, but by adding a second layer here, um, whereas you could have just used the cardstock, but I, I really like the background. And our little fox, he is so cute. I'm gonna use purple because his scarf is purple. So you can decide what you want for the front and what you want for the other sides. And I actually don't like this without another piece here, so I'm just going to grab one because it's bugging me. So I'm just going to quickly, I think I'm going to go with, I could go with a coordinating color, but because you can see both of them, I'm going to go with the same one. So I'll just dig into my paper. And you can see the other side of this one is adorable as well. So some of the papers have smaller characters and the other ones have bigger ones. So this piece is going to be one of the one and a half by four. Now when you're cutting your big paper, I always like to be cut it so that I get the most bang for my buck. So I know because it's 12, I can get three pieces of the four. So that will be perfect for my current situation. All right, so then we have our little tree piece that I'm just gonna add to the front one. Yeah, I like that better. So sometimes when you're designing, and I think with the fresh freesia one, it would have been fine, but this one, because it's white, I think it definitely needs that extra little piece. That's what's fun about cards. And you can make two cards and they could be totally different. You could also find a little character or something to put here. What I like to do, I don't know if I have any that'll work for this, is cut out the little ones that are kind of on the edge of the paper so that you can use them in your, I hope everything's sticking to me, so that you can use them in your edge pieces. And I actually like that right there. I'm gonna add this little fox. Looks like he's kind of peeking out of the card. <clears throat> All right, so this is called a pinwheel card. And I'm just gonna reach over here. That's so cute. I have this other little guy too, little fox's head that you could use as well. So, pinwheel card, super simple to make. Um, I'll make the other one off camera and um, post it on the Facebook page. 
awesome. So just a reminder, it is really cute. Just a reminder that the um, catalog launch party is August 11th. You would have to register ASAP if you wanted to go to that. The class is really an all occasions class. We're going to be doing some projects for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, any of the things featured in the new pro in the new catalog. And by then you will be able to look and in the new catalog and you'll be able to order from the new catalog. It's also celebration at that time. Christmas in July is fully booked. Christmas in August, there are still a few sp spots available and it is August 25th. So thank you for joining me today. That was a quick one. A quick Fun Fold Friday. Actually, if it's quick, that means it's easy to do and it's fun. So a quick Fun Fold Friday. Um, I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know when I go live. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you all on Monday. Thanks everyone, have a great day.